Well, here we are, less than 48 hours after we talked about this subject, but it's clear from the comments I'm receiving on the first video that some people don't seem to care about the facts. I, I get it. You want so much for it to be true. You read it on an online news source, a supposedly reliable mainstream news source, and yet they're wrong. And you're wrong. And it's hard to admit it. But today, I'm doing a PSA because I don't want you to spend your money on something you can't use. And that's right, folks. Today, we are talking once again about the PS5 slim covers, the plates, the metallic, the red, the, the array of colors of the rainbow. We get it. You want so badly for these plates to work on the PS5 Pro. They should. I agree with you. They should work on the PS5 Pro. They're technically the same height and width as the PS5 Pro plates. So they should work. But here's the facts, folks. The facts. And I, again, I can't blame some people for being... Uh, for wanting to willfully ignore the facts because they read an article or they saw a YouTube video referencing an article that said they went out, they being tech radar, right? Tech radar went out and talked to Sony and confirmed that the PS5 slim plates do in fact work on the PS5 Pro. Here's the problem. They didn't actually do that. The writer lied. He put in a statement that was not accurate. And when they were asked about their source that they talked to, that author stealth edited the article and removed the confirmation. Only then, when people noticed the stealth edit and started complaining, did Tech Radar go back and confirm that yes, the author erroneously stated they confirmed the PS5 Slim plates work on the PS5 Pro when in fact he had not and they apologized for this fake news. Unfortunately, like happens with all these media outlets when they run with a poorly researched, poorly written article, they put it out there, people read it, they take it as gospel, and they never see the correction. And so here it is, here is that correction. Editor's note, this blog originally contained information about the existing PS5 Slim console covers fitting the PS5 Pro that we subsequently learned has not been confirmed by Sony. So we have removed it to avoid any confusion. We apologize for any trouble this has caused and we'll update the article again if we get official confirmation that the plates will fit. Our original blog continues as it was. So there you have it. It's pretty clear cut. Tech Radar admits that they did erroneous reporting here and that they did not confirm that these PS5 Slim plates work on the PS5 Pro. But that's not the end of the facts and evidence we have. Of course, in the past, we talked about the blog from PlayStation that says the plates for the Pro will be available at some point in the future. We talked about the Sony Direct PlayStation Store in which it clearly states the slim PS5 covers only work on the slim models. But we also have new news. If you head on over to EB Games, which is the GameStop of Australia, I mean, it technically is GameStop in Australia, they clearly list on the PS5 plate page that covers 
R for the PS5 Slim digital and disc consoles, not compatible with the PlayStation 5 Pro. So there you have now an independent retailer confirming internationally that the slim covers will not work on the PlayStation 5 Pro. But that's not the end of the evidence, folks. I really want you to have all the information because I'm not trying to lead you astray. I am truly trying to prevent you from making an erroneous purchase that you will not be able to use and you will be even more upset if you do. And that is this image from SEI, Sony Entertainment Incorporated. This can be found on Amazon's Japanese website on the PS5 console or PS5 covers. As you can see, this compatibility chart clearly shows the, the multiple different covers that are available to purchase and every PS5 console released. You have the PS5 original disc version. You have the PS5 digital. You have the PlayStation 5 Slim, and you have the PlayStation 5 Pro. Along the right, you see the original PlayStation 5 plates for the disc system. You see the original PlayStation 5 plates for the digital system, and you see the plates for the PS5 Slim. As you go across this chart, you will notice there are circles in where these plates are compatible with said system. And if we go down to the PlayStation 5 Slim plates and you go across to the bottom right over here on the PlayStation 5 Pro, you can clearly see Sony has marked the PlayStation 5 Slim plates incompatible with the PlayStation 5 Pro. This is our most definitive evidence they won't be compatible as this image, this marketing period, marketing material was created by Sony, by SEI. It doesn't get any more confirmed than that. But on top of that, we have evidence from a Reddit user who went online and talked to PlayStation support. PlayStation support confirmed that indeed the plates are not compatible. Again, confirmation that the disc plate is, and that is the only part of the plate that is compatible. The other three are not. Specifically, they are not compatible because of the unique ventilation system of the PS5 Pro, which didn't allow for the same mounting points as those slim plates. So while the slim plates may look compatible, they are in fact not. I hope this video helps put to rest some of the controversy. We have multiple sources of confirmation now that the PS5 Slim covers are indeed not compatible with the PlayStation 5 Pro. So I want to hear from you. Is this enough evidence? Are you still confused? What more can we do for you? Again, we really are just trying to do a public service announcement here to protect you as a consumer. If you still doubt all the evidence, all the facts you have, I understand. That is the power of erroneous fake news reporting. You can be bought into a lie and never see the correction. I get it. I get the desire to want to believe it's true. So just do this for me. If you really believe this, you really believe that the PlayStation 5 Slim plates will actually work on the play, play, PlayStation 5 Pro, it's a tongue twister, then just hold off. Just wait. Just wait for the system to ship and to get into people's hands and let them confirm for you before you spend your money on PlayStation 5 Slim covers that you can't use. I want you to save money. These plates are nearly $100 or over 100 in some cases. Don't let Sony bait you in to buying something you can't use. You're just going to be frustrated on the backside.
just hold off on buying these plates if you are just buying them for the PlayStation 5 Pro because they will not fit. And I want you not to waste your money. Just hold off and wait for that confirmation so you don't make a purchasing mistake. So again, I appreciate you being here. Smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, have fun.